Hello, and welcome to another edition of An English Guy Watching Wrestling. I'm the English Guy, I'm Nick. Thank you so much for clicking on another video, really do appreciate it. In this one, we're going to be covering the 18th of June 2021 edition of Ring World Television. Now, before we begin, I just want to say I do apologise for the lateness of this review. Usually, I'm pretty quicker, if that makes any sense, <laughs> in my reviews, but it's been a busy week. But lots of stuff going on, but good stuff, so I'm not complaining. So, there you go. But anyway, we are here now, so with that being said, <clears throat> jump right into it. Opening matchup was a survival of the fittest qualifying match between Bandito and Bateman. And as far as I know, this is the first time I've ever seen these two wrestle each other before. And talk about a clash of styles. That was this right here. Bateman, the more methodical, hard-hitting, moderate pace wrestler against, obviously, Bandito, who is considerably one of the best high flyers in the world. And this is a clash of styles that you don't see very often. <clears throat> Two wrestlers you don't see very often like this facing each other. But this was a good match. I enjoyed it. And I think this was a real testament to what Ring of Honor is all about these days. <clears throat> very unique aspects of the wrestlers that they bring out. Ring of Honor seems to bring out the very best of that character side of them. Bateman's no exception. I really like what he does. Bandito, I've said it before, he's one of the very, very best in the world in terms of high flies, in terms of luchadors. He's amazing. I could definitely attest to that. Um, <clears throat> I think this was what has made Survival of the Fittest so far. Very entertaining. A very different mixture of styles. The way it's been coming together. And <clears throat> I think Bandito winning was the right call. As much as I do like Bateman, I do. I think he's very good. I think Bandito was the right call to win this one. Because he will face a Dark Flamita in this uh, match. Survival of the Fittest match that is very late, later on. But this was what you call a very good, solid Good, twice said it twice, but I meant to say it twice. <laughs> good match. And as I said, I think Bateman losing was the right call, even though I do like him. But this was Bandito's night. But really good mixture of styles. The way they worked together was very good as well. The Bateman obviously trying to be the more psychological edge, as he's kind of done in the past. Did it here, but Bandito, sorry, Bandito got the win. So thumbs up. And thumbs up to what was a good opening match episode. There we go. With the list of the main events, the Ring of Honor Television Championship on the line, Tony Deppin defending against Tracy, sorry, Tracy Williams and Dragon Lee. Now, of course, um, this was a matchup that is a combination, not a combination, so a continuation of the feud between the three factions that each member were representing in this matchup. Now, I can never try and pronounce <laughs> um, Dragon Lee's uh, faction because I'd never want to mispronounced names, I feel kind of bad when I do that. But this was, again, a continuation of this one. And this matchup was very good, to be fair. And But the, when all three of these guys were involved, I was not surprised. Three of the very best in Ring of Honor at the moment. <clears throat> but um, the end of this, this matchup was really a shock. Now, Tony Deppin pinned Tracy Williams. For, see, Tracy Williams got pinned by Deppin. And Dragon Lee could have broke up the pin, but didn't. He just watched because obviously Dragon Lee um, lost the title by forfeit because of his injury. And so, of course, that means Tony De he had his justification for a one-on-one -on -one match with, um, with Deppin. And it was kind of unique to see this finish because I never thought I'd see that finish in this kind of match because you would think Dragon Lee would want the belt back. You would think they would add more gold to this, <coughs> get gold with them once more. Since they already had the Ring of Honor World title in their faction with Roosh. <clears throat> but no, he didn't break up. And it's a bit of a surprise to see that. And that being said, a very unique finish. But what was a very good triple threat match. And <clears throat> I don't think I've ever seen a triple threat match this year for the Ring of Honor TV title. But um, it was a very good triple threat match. I think Tony Deppin really showed why he is such a good champion. And I think the right choice to be carrying the title right now. He's someone who's getting better and better as time goes on. And he's proven it. <clears throat> Dragon Lee, you, you know what you're going to get with Dragon Lee. He's one of the very best stories of what he does, for sure. And Tracy Williams, <clears throat> he's been a staple of Ring of Honor for a long time now. Again, a man you're not going to see anything bad from at all. One of the very best that Ring of Honor has got, bar none. And it was a really good mixture, again, to use that word from the different last match, of how these two, three members work together. And I think... Dippin retaining was the right call to be fair because he's not held the belt very long. I think he's got more in him as a champion. He's got, <clears throat> I think, more mileage to show to what he can do. Him versus Dragon Lee is a match I'd love to see one on one to be or something. That'd be a very good matchup. Um, but this one was a good main event to be fair. I liked how, you know, 
the finish came about because it just kind of came out of nowhere with him being rolled up and dragging and just letting the pin happen. You don't really see that very much in wrestling, to be fair. But obviously, which leads on to the continuation of the feud between the factions. I'm looking forward to see what happens next. So, all roads, roads they head, shall we say, to Survival of the Fittest. And of course, to the next episode of Ring on the Television next week. Hopefully, I'll get the review out quicker <laughs> if things, fingers crossed, say, in that regard. And on that note, I will end that review here. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see everybody next time. But until that time, take care.